A 20-year-old UNC student facing second-degree murder charges in a deadly DWI accident remains under house arrest tonight, but now Chandler Kenya is also staring at a wrongful death lawsuit from the family of one of the victims. Good evening, I'm Sean Maroney. And I'm Sharon Taswell. Even though he wasn't behind the wheel, Kenya's father has also been named in that suit. WNCN's David Hurst explains why. Nearly one month after three people were killed in a runway crash on I-85, one of the victim's families has filed a lawsuit against the driver and his dad. Darlene McGee's daughter filed the wrongful death lawsuit on Tuesday. McGee was in the passenger seat when police say Chandler Kenya drove his Jeep the wrong way down I-85, crashing into McGee's car. Kenya, who police say was drunk at the time of the crash, is facing multiple charges, including three counts of second-degree murder. Attorneys with Oxendine Price and Associates here in Raleigh filed the lawsuit on behalf of the family. They're seeking at least $25,000 in compensatory damages, and they want a jury to decide how much the family gets in punitive damages. McGee's family declined comment, citing the lawsuit, but following one of Kenya's court hearings, McGee's cousin told WNCN his family hopes Kenya is held accountable for his actions. We don't hold malice in our heart. We are mourning the death of a loved one. Chandler Kenya's dad, Michael, is also listed as a defendant in the lawsuit. The complaint claims he is liable for his son's actions because he owns the car and gave his son express and implied permission to operate the vehicle. We reached out to Kenya's attorneys for a comment on the lawsuit but did not hear back. And it may just be the beginning of the legal battle. The family of the other victims may file a wrongful death lawsuit, and the families could also file lawsuits against the two businesses accused of selling the underage Kenya alcohol. The ALE is also looking into those two businesses. The agency says that investigation is expected to wrap up in about a week. In Raleigh, David Hurst, WNCN News.